Um, and this is a, just a test piece because I want to show you how to paint the eyes, how I cover the eyes first. And so that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to cover the eye. The clay that I've been using, I don't have that much left, is the Polyform Model Air Air Dry Modeling Clay. And I get it from Walmart. Uh, it was just a, it comes in two pound package. It was like six dollars and some change plus tax. And this is what it looks like. It's nice and white. I really like that it's so smooth and completely white. And that's going to be about, I think that's going to be too much for the eye. So I just keep it rolled up. Try to keep the air away from it. This should be enough, and it dries out so quick because it's not tacky at all. So what I'm going to do is I wet my finger a little bit. I'm going to work the water into the clay. It's in a little ball, and I'm just squishing it, flat, flattening it out. Not too thin. There you go. Then I just set it in the seat. We need a, just a tad of water. And then set it in the middle of the eye and then press it down. And then I slide, try to pull the clay to the edges. Smoothing it out. Just making sure the whole eye is covered. I, I also want to make sure that it, the clay is thick enough that when I go in and sand it that it's not going to um, go all the way down to the, the styrofoam ball. So now I'm just pressing it down, trying to flatten it out as much as possible. Because the flatter it is, the easier it will be to, to sand when, uh, when it's completely dry. And so, now I'm going to see how much I can just wet my finger a little bit, smooth it around. I'm trying to see how smooth I can get it. Because like I said, the, the smoother it is, the easier it will be to, to sand. So, it takes about, you know, this little bit of clay, this thin, it, it, it's been taking about 24 hours to dry. And then and it needs to be completely dry before you sand it. And uh, this eye here, I've already sanded. And uh, I'll show you that right here. Okay, now that the eye is nice and smooth, nice and sanded, this one's starting to stiffen up. So but we're gonna we're gonna continue and create the the eyelids on on this eye. So I've got a piece of clay. And do the same thing. a little bit of water and wet where I'm going to put a little clay, the snake clay. Now I'm 
pushing it down around the eye. Okay, then I'm going to cut off the excess. Yes, Jasmine, I hear you. It's my kitty kitty. Jasmine. She thinks I'm talking to her. So I want to take a little bit more water and run it underneath the eyelid. Press it down. Okay, I'm gonna take a little just so not cross the camera. Okay, so rub my finger a little bit and wet the clay. Okay, now I'm going to pull the clay again to blend it into the head. I know later on I may sculpt uh, more. So, but since the eye is nice and hard already, it's easier to not worry about messing up the nice roundness of the eye. And uh, I like using the paintbrush also to to help sculpt with the uh, the paper clay. See how nice it just blended in like that. So I'm just fixing the water line. it down a little bit more. There we go. I think I probably pushed it with the paintbrush too much maybe. And take my tool. Try to make the, the water line because later when it's done I want to glue eyelashes to this water line. Okay, I'm using my paintbrush with a little bit of water to help smooth the, the clay down again. And then after it dries, we'll use the, the nail file like find the shape. There we go. So there's one eyelid, top of the eyelid. Okay. Now we'll do the other one. I don't think we're going to need near as much clay. Make another snake. Also need to wet the area where we're going to apply it. There we go. I think it feels a little too wet. There we go. Don't want it soaking wet. And cut off the excess again. into the head. And then wet the inside to make sure that it's going to stick. Don't want it to come off later on. I think on this one I want to want more of a just 
just smoothing that down, smoothing it together. I think on this one I want more of a more of a tear duct. So I'm just gonna press it down with my tool. Take a piece of the clay away. There we go. There's a little bit more of a tear duct on this one. And I'm just smoothing it around, smoothing it with the paintbrush. And then when that dries, we'll paint them. There. Sculpting an eye. Sculpting an eye.